Before meeting Pastor Franny and Pastor Nick, you know, uh, things were really, um, as it can be sometimes in a marriage, not exactly what you expected. And, you know, I'm like, oh God, what have I done? <laughs> and my mama said to me, baby, you made your bed, you got to sleep in it. I said, mama, it's not comfortable. I don't like it. She says, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. So anyway, I was with the church at the time in counseling as well. And, and I was involved with the church very heavily. They told me to keep my eyes on God. So I started researching in the Bible. What does that mean? Time rocked on and things just weren't changing. We moved to Orlando and then I started working with Pastor Franny. I was telling her about this and then the Lord showed me he told me what it meant and I believe to this day that that would not have happened unless I had been under the anointing for me to surrender to be able to listen because I was hard-headed the Lord told me that my wicked way was judgment who am I to judge his my husband belonged to him. He belonged to me. He's only alone to me. Who am I to sit in the judgment seat of Christ? That's a far greater sin that my husband could ever or anybody ever do. So who's wicked? I was so wicked. And I cried and cried and cried. And it makes me cry now that I did that. And so I'm so grateful to have come to this brook to be part of this ministry. And I know that it was ordained by God or I wouldn't be here. And I just want to share that to women who can see themselves in my shoes, judging others, judging their husband. Oh, he didn't take the garbage out tonight. Oh, okay. Is that a kingdom issue? Is that life and death? No. Forget about it. Love him where he's at because I promise you it will pay off.